As 2024 draws to a close, the Space Coast is gearing up for what promises to be its most extraordinary year yet. 2025 will mark a pivotal moment in spaceflight history with three revolutionary launch vehicles preparing to reshape our access to space. SpaceX is finally bringing Starship to Florida, with construction crews already mobilizing at Kennedy Space Center. The massive orbital launch mount components have begun arriving at Roberts Road, signaling the company's commitment to establishing a second Starship launch site on the East Coast. But that's just the beginning. The majestic New Glenn rocket stands proudly at Launch Complex 36, its gleaming 322-foot frame ready for its debut flight. At the historic Launch Complex 14, Nova's development accelerates, promising a future of fully reusable rockets. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration. Today's flyover reveals exclusive aerial footage of these groundbreaking projects taking shape across Cape Canaveral. Let's dive right in. The dawn breaks over Roberts Road, casting long shadows across what will soon become SpaceX's most ambitious Florida project yet. Through our aerial footage, we're witnessing history in the making, not just construction, but the birth of a new era in spaceflight. The massive orbital launch mount components below tell a story of determination and innovation, each piece carefully engineered to support humanity's next giant leap. As our cameras sweep across the site, five colossal sections of the launch mount's base layer catch the morning light. These aren't just ordinary structures. They're the foundation of a three-layer marvel that will soon channel the raw power of Starship's 33 Raptor engines. Each piece represents countless hours of engineering refinement, lessons learned from the Texas facility written in steel and concrete. In a surprising twist, SpaceX has completely abandoned their previous launch mount design still sitting at Hangar M. This bold decision showcases the company's unwavering commitment to improvement, even if it means starting fresh. The new design incorporates sophisticated water cooling channels and a precisely engineered circular opening, a testament to the evolution of their understanding of what it takes to launch the world's most powerful rocket. Perhaps the most intriguing development is the newly completed tent facility, but calling it a tent barely does justice to this engineering masterpiece. Built on an innovative rail system, this mobile fortress can slide back and forth like a massive shield, protecting sensitive hardware from Florida's unpredictable weather while enabling crucial crane operations. It's an elegant solution to a complex problem, demonstrating SpaceX's practical genius. But the real story, the one that has the space community buzzing, is unfolding in the Northern Expansion Zone. After years of anticipation and speculation, SpaceX has finally broken ground on an ambitious 43-acre development. This isn't just another construction project, it's phase one of what could become Florida's answer to Starbase. Satellite imagery reveals the true scale of this undertaking, with cleared boundaries stretching far into the distance, promising future phases that could revolutionize the entire space coast. The transformation runs deeper than just physical construction. In a move that perfectly illustrates SpaceX's vertical integration strategy, four dome-shaped Starlink business gateways now stand sentinel near the retention pond. These aren't just internet access points. They're a symbol of SpaceX's complete ecosystem, providing up to 10 gigabits per second connectivity through their own satellite constellation. It's a reminder that every piece of infrastructure here serves a greater purpose in the company's grand vision. A mystery has emerged on the grounds. Several concrete rectangles have appeared, their purpose unknown. While speculation runs high among space enthusiasts, these structures could be the foundation for something revolutionary. Their placement and design suggest they're part of a larger plan, one that SpaceX has kept close to the vest. Meanwhile, at Blue Origin's facilities, an equally compelling drama is unfolding. Inside the TUCAT building, a New Glenn second stage stands proud, the first to enter the facility since August's testing incident. This isn't just a replacement, it's a symbol of Blue Origin's resilience and determination. The stage's presence signals a critical milestone in their journey toward New Glenn's debut flight. The landscape around these facilities continues its dramatic transformation. Construction teams work tirelessly, 
laying the groundwork for expanded infrastructure. New roads snake through the property, leading to foundations that could soon support a chemical processing facility. The scale of these developments suggests Blue Origin is preparing for something much bigger than just a few launches. The crowning achievement of these preparations towers above Launch Complex 36, New Glen itself. Standing 98 meters tall, this engineering marvel has been far from idle. Recent weeks have seen a flurry of critical testing milestones, each bringing us closer to its maiden flight. The second stage propellant loading tests created spectacular clouds of vapor, while the methane tank farm operations lit up the night sky. Nature's own special effects announcing progress to anyone watching. At Port Canaveral, a fascinating technological ballet is taking place. Jacklin, Blue Origin's massive landing platform, has returned from Jacksonville sporting sophisticated new upgrades. The newly installed robotic system represents a unique approach to securing landed boosters, a different solution to the same problem SpaceX solved with their Octagrabber. It's a perfect example of how healthy competition drives innovation in unexpected directions. SpaceX's own drone ship operations haven't stood still. Just read the instructions, now sports an innovative water deluge system, first spotted during October's Starlink mission. This modification represents a practical solution to a persistent problem, reducing deck wear from booster landings. The success of this system could lead to similar upgrades across their entire fleet, potentially reducing maintenance downtime and increasing launch cadence. The transformation of Launch Complex 39A continues as SpaceX prepares for Starship's arrival. The dismantling of the original liquid oxygen tank marks more than just a change in infrastructure. It's a shift in philosophy. New excavation work suggests SpaceX might be adopting the underground transfer line system that proved so successful at Starbase. This could include a flame trench similar to the one under construction at Pad B, but with improvements learned from Texas operations. Despite these major modifications, LC-39A maintains its impressive launch cadence with Falcon 9. We witnessed the subcooler's frosty venting after a recent launch. A reminder that this historic pad continues to make history while preparing for its next evolution. It's a delicate balance between maintaining current operations and building for the future. At SLC-40, the world's busiest launch pad shows no signs of slowing down. The recent appearance of an extended Falcon fairing has sparked intense speculation about future capabilities. Could this be a hint at upcoming mission profiles we haven't seen before? Meanwhile, Stoke Space brings new life to the historic Launch Complex 14, where John Glenn once launched to orbit. Their reusable Nova rocket represents the next generation of space access, proving that innovation can flourish at historic sites. The Space Coast transformation extends beyond individual companies. Relativity Space advances their work at Launch Complex 16, preparing for their Terran R rocket. ULA expands their spacecraft processing capabilities, adapting to increased demand. Even NASA's mobile launcher two construction benefits from shared resources using the same model of crane that recently assembled Starship's launch tower in Texas, a DMAG CC8800 that connects these two historic programs in an unexpected way. As the sun sets over the Space Coast, the scale of this transformation becomes clear. This isn't just about building launch pads or processing facilities. It's about reshaping humanity's access to space. Each crane movement, each concrete pour, each new structure rising from the floor to soil represents another step toward making space travel as routine as air travel. The competition between companies drives innovation while their collective progress pushes the boundaries of what's possible. The night brings its own spectacle as lights illuminate construction sites and test stands, creating a constellation of human achievement on the ground to mirror the stars above. Tomorrow will bring new challenges, new milestones, and new discoveries. But for now, the Space Coast stands ready, its transformation a testament to human ingenuity and determination. As we conclude our aerial journey across the Space Coast, one thing becomes crystal clear. 2025 isn't just another year in spaceflight, it's the beginning of a new chapter in human space exploration. From SpaceX's expanding Starship facilities to Blue Origin's New Glenn preparations and Stoke Space's innovative, reusable rocket development, 
We're witnessing the foundations of a multi-planetary future being laid right here in Florida. The Space Coast is transforming before our eyes with each facility, each test, and each milestone bringing us closer to regular, reliable access to space. This isn't just about competition between companies. It's about humanity's collective push toward the stars, and you're witnessing it all unfold here on Elon Musk 24 hours. If you want to stay updated on these incredible developments, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on which company's progress excites you the most. SpaceX's Starship, Blue Origin's New Glenn, or Stokes Nova Rocket. Your engagement helps us create better content and keeps you informed about the latest developments in space exploration. Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and share it with fellow space enthusiasts who need to see these exciting developments. Until our next flyover, keep looking up. The future of space flight is being built right now and you're part of this historic journey. This is Elon Musk 24 hours signing off. Breaking news from Starbase. SpaceX is about to make history once again with the stunning debut of Starship version two. As the holiday season unfolds, the teams at Starbase are working around the clock on something extraordinary. The seventh Starship flight is rapidly taking shape and it's bringing groundbreaking innovations to the launch pad. On a fog shrouded evening of December 5th, under the cover of darkness, SpaceX quietly moved a giant to its launching grounds. Booster 14, the powerful first stage designated for Flight 7, made its dramatic journey from Mega Bay to the launch complex. Even through the dense coastal mist, its massive silhouette told a story of engineering excellence and unwavering ambition. With January 2025 marked on the calendar for this historic launch, SpaceX isn't wasting a single moment. The testing campaign is already in full swing, and what we're about to witness could redefine our expectations of space travel. From enhanced heat shields to redesigned fins, this isn't just another test flight, it's the dawn of Starship's next evolution. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to space innovation. Let's dive right in. The journey of Booster 14 to the launch pad marked just the beginning of an intense testing campaign. Within hours of its arrival on December 6th, the massive rocket stood proudly against the Texas sky, defying earlier concerns about pad readiness. SpaceX's engineering team, working with precision that would make a Swiss watchmaker jealous, began preparations for the most critical pre-flight tests. The first major milestone came on December 7th with a spin prime test, a crucial choreography of machinery where a single Raptor engine's turbo pumps whirled to life. Picture this, liquid oxygen and methane flowing through the veins of this mechanical